Guys, how good was Derek Lewis over the weekend? Like, it's hard to say that he stole the show because the show over the weekend was amazing. Like, again, UFC 291 or UFC 290? Which one do you put up there? Because I really don't know. Like, July just fed us so goddamn well as MMA fans. It's kind of mind-blowing the level of spoilt that we were. But I really wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about Derek Lewis. He stole the show and he came out with a bit of news that I certainly wasn't expecting. He is a free agent now. And this is the question. What do you want to see next for Derek Lewis? There's two sides to the story here as there often are. Number one, do you want to see Derek Lewis get paid? Fair enough. Number two, do you want what's best for the UFC so that we can keep putting on great pay-per-views every single weekend? and have all the great UFC content, all the great MMA content in one place. Are you like me, where you think a strong UFC is better for the overall entertainment of the sport? It makes the sport easier to follow. We've got more one fighters in one organization. It makes it much, much more streamlined and easier. Because this is the conversation that's going to be getting had behind the closed doors of the UFC. And it's very interesting that Lewis came with such an entertaining win. Why? Because Francis Ngannou's departure is already causing massive ripples and waves across the MMA world. The UFC, obviously, they want to play this off like Ngannou leaving is not a big deal. They can move on without him. But for Dana White to go out and embarrass himself in front of the media by trying to organize the John Jones-Tyson Fury fight, shows that the UFC are taking this really, really seriously. And the PFL was sort of played as fools, being like, oh, Ngannou's gonna go do a boxing fight first. It's just gonna ruin his brand. He's not even gonna get a big name boxing fight. He's done it. He got the bag. He got the big name boxing fight. And now the PFL, as we know, they've come out and said that Ngannou's first opponent against Ningano in MMA in the PFL is gonna be getting that sweet paycheck of $2 million. And Derek Lewis is one of the very few men on the planet that have beaten Ningano in MMA. If the PFL can entice Derek Lewis over, that is two huge wins for Ningano, which is a horrible look for the UFC. The UFC do not wanna look that weak in front of the MMA media. like. People like Ariel Hawani will just jump on him. All the anti-UFC MMA fans out there, which is a weird thing to say, but there are so many UFC haters out there, which like, I just do not understand. They are going to jump on this if PFL land Derek Lewis. And I think the PFL can. And as a Derek Lewis fan, you one fight just sign a one fight deal with the pfl get two million dollars make your money bro and then come back to the ufc like if you can swindle that move great move for you derek as an mma fan horrible like strong ufc way better way better for the sport but i don't see the ufc paying derek lewis two million dollars for one fight I don't even see them paying him $2 million for a five fight, four fight, three fight deal. The dude was just come off a losing streak, a losing streak. If you're gonna put Derek Lewis on that kind of a contract, you pretty much are saying you need to be opening up pay-per-views against cans. Like we need to get your money out of you. We need to guarantee a Derek Lewis knockout for the next five or six pay-per-views and you get the crowd riled up to start these pay-per-views because that is Derek Lewis's only function now in the UFC. He is not a top five heavyweight. He's not challenging Aspinall, Jones, Blades, Spivak. He's just not there anymore. His chin is a bit paper thin, but he's still an incredible showman and he's still so fun for us, the fans, to watch. But two million dollars is a big price to pay. And this is 
the ripple effect that we're seeing from Ningano. Now that this money is getting sprinkled around in the MMA world, we're going to start seeing the MMA world break down into these bidding wars. And the only reason that the UFC has been able to be such a strong company for so long is because it hoards the profit from the fighters and uses that to build the UFC brand and keep that so strong. It's the reason why it is synonymous with MMA. And the opposite reason why is boxing fell apart in the 80s and 90s because every single fighter was opening their own promotion and it was just the top fighters taking all the money and you ended up with 10 different world heavyweight titles spread out across several different organizations and nobody cared anymore because it was so hard to follow and so hard to get these boxes to sign on. And I hope that we're not starting to see that decay creep into our world, but we might be. And for it to be Derek Lewis to be the one that's going to start to take the next steps with Ben Uncle Boxing, this PFL deal, Jake Paul taking on ex-UFC fighters. We're already starting to see the decay happen around the edges. But right now, we've got an actual showman in Derek Lewis getting offered real money, real money, if PFL do offer him that $2 million, which I think PFL would be ridiculous not to offer it to Derek Lewis. Because let's be honest, guys, Ningano probably wins that fight if he's not being scared to swing. Ningano probably wins that fight again. So PFL, like you're paying $2 million for a promotional Ningano win against an ex-UFC superstar. That's worth the $2 million. To the UFC, you're getting a sort of heavyweight knockout with a funny interview at the end of it. That's not really worth $2 million, is it? So guys, my prediction of how this is going to play out is I think the PFL are going to start throwing cash at Derek Lewis and I think we're going to see Derek Lewis make a move. And then if in 2024, when Nagano comes back on a PFL pay-per-view, if in some crazy world, it's Francis Nagano versus Derek Lewis, headliner, Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz, co-main event, PFL super pay-per-view. That is bad news for the UFC. Guys, let's talk about it down in the comments. Leave them right there. If you're enjoying these videos, maybe consider subscribing and I'll see you all in the next one.